Morning guys! Mail time! <laughs> oh, I'm really excited about this one. <laughs> the packaging, well, the brown bag, paper bag that it's been sent in has been a bit damaged in the post, but that's fine. Um, I don't think I'll be able to salvage much of it, but as you guys know in the junk journaling community, it is still usable, so I shall save that. Put that to one side and save that. Right. So, this is a stash of music paper, and it is an awesome stash. Seriously. Guys in the junk journaling community world know that music paper is like gold dust. It is used in pretty much everything. Um, but, unfortunately, here around where I live, and close by other neighbouring parts I've had friends and family searching as well it's not easy to get hold of it literally is like gold dust now I have already opened this when it came I've had it a while and I have used some of it I used some the other day in this altered notebook cover just a little strip down the side there because I just needed it and you know when you do something and you're just thinking it needs something and I don't know what music paper just music paper everybody knows if we're all watching other people's videos and when they're going hmm it needs something we're all sitting there going music paper it needs music paper that's what it needs get it done yeah we use it in everything and then last week I think it were I grabbed a piece out of just a random piece I just put me on the and picked a piece out and I made this envelope with it so the only thing I haven't done I forgot is to ink around the edges I'm not a huge inker I'm not against inking don't get me wrong distressing I'm not against it but I just tend to forget to do it but I think and it's actually ripped there so I need to maybe bit of washi tape on there um I do actually need to do that because I think it I think it'll I don't know I think it needs it um, but yeah, so I will be doing a tutorial on this for August. So keep your eyes peeled for that. It is very easy to do. Um, the only thing I will disclose, like a disclosure, I did not make this tag. It is one that I already had and it's pre-made. The only thing I did do was had, add the two brads there. It was already connected underneath with an eyelet um, there. So I didn't make this tag, but I will show them off in the next in the video anyway. But I used this tag as a flap closure behind the paper ruffle. But yeah, so it's it's very very simple and straightforward to do. You do not need to sew. I will show alternatives. But anyway, so I used a piece of this paper to make that, just to show what you can do. It's amazing what you can do with a piece of music paper. Anyway, like I said. I have struggled no end over the last few months to get my hands on a decent amount of paper anyway. We can find it, just not as much as I would like to have. So I gave in, I bit the bullet and I bought a stash on eBay. I believe it is a one kilogram in weight, obviously. Stash. Yes, one kilogram of vintage sheet music paper, decoupage, art projects, crafting, shabby chic. I will leave details below. I am not in any way, and I have not in any way been endorsed or anything to do this video. This is just me and my happy mail videos. Um, but as I know you guys love a bargain too, I will drop the links below. I actually purchased this on eBay, but there is a Facebook page. Uh, there's a link on the um, invoice to a Facebook page and the compliments slip. So I'll drop all them links below as well. Go and check her out, guys. Awesome. Um, yeah, and for the record, for anybody who's interested, um, this bundle cost me £10.99 and it was free postage so £11 for a kilogram oh god it weighs a ton <laughs> well it weighs a kilogram but <laughs> um, but yeah a kilogram of music vintage music paper and look
look at this guys I've got a freebie how cute how awesome is that it says freebie bits and bobs so let's open it up and have a look I actually haven't opened this at all like I said all I did was just reached in and grabbed a piece of paper take it took it out let me see oh wow let's have a look at this let's just move this to one side we'll come back to that in a second let's have a flip through what's in here oh wow oh that is so cool Ooh, can use the envelope too oh look a little baggie full of little tiny hearts embellishments looks like they've been die cut Oh, maps. Oh, love a good map. Focus. Cool. And then, yeah. Yep. See? You can do anything with a sheet of, in sheet of music paper. There we go. Oh, that is cool. Oh, look at this. Oh, cool. Has she included? Oh, she has. Oh, that is cool. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm loving that. She's actually included the, um, what would you call them? Um, oh, Gail calls them negatives, that's it. The negatives from the hearts cut out. So... There you go. Cool. So everything she's cut the hearts out of, she's included in the freebies, which is awesome. That's cool. See, because you can use these in projects as well, but you could also use them as stencils. I'd maybe, well, no, you can't. I'm going to say I'd maybe back them on some card or something to make them a bit sturdy, but you wouldn't be able to, would you? You'd still be able to put them over and maybe distress over it. Oh, that is just so cool. Right, so. Oh, nice. Different, very different. You could, like I said, or you could just also add it straight to a journal or a page or whatever, as is. That is cool. She's included the map paper, map paper as well. Awesome. Oh. That is just cool. Thank you so much. Let's put them back in there because I will lose them otherwise. What a nice little, like, I love all these like little added touches when you get. Not even so much Happy Mail because it's not really Happy Mail. It is a purchase. But I just love it when somebody, a business, a small business or, like, or otherwise, just do, just you know go that little bit extra it costs nothing really a bit of extraness Ex extraness <laughs> a bit of extra kindness and i love this this little bundle has been tied up with some now i call this twine but i think i can't remember did, did somebody say the other day it's jute or something I don't know not sure what this is it feels a bit like straw but look at this and this is the business by the way is it gonna focus yeah the the little vintage paper club so cool like I said I will pop the links below but she's added just a little sorry keep forgetting to check the focus some hearts which is cool attached to that actually is that yeah oh I can't get it off I can't get it off without undoing it I was hoping I was going to be able to just slip it off so let's see Oh, I'm so glad to have nails. I've missed them. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm going to get that off. 
Bear with me a second guys, I want to try and get this off without having to cut it. All oh, right, so I should fasten it and then kind of like burnt it to keep it together. Cool. Right, I can get that off now without damaging it, because that can be reused as well. Awesome. Now it does say in the listing that they are random. Some are from the same books, some are from random books. But yeah, so that is cool. So there's some book pages. Oh, sorry, I must look through the camera. <laughs> Make sure we're focused. So some book pages, it's got writing on as well, some of them. It's in pencil, it can be rubbed out, that's cool. Oh, they are actually still full pages. Oh, that would be awesome to just slip in a journal as is, wouldn't it? There's three pages there, full pages, so you know, just stick in a signature as is. Awesome. That is cool. Nice. There is a really good selection here. Like a really, really good selection. Nice and vintage aged as well. Like yellowed. So. Awesome. Good sizes. Variety in sizes as well. Oh, I love that. I like the ones where you get loads and loads on one sheet as opposed to a sheet where there's loads of gaps and spaces. So there's a really good selection, a really good variety there. And then a smaller pile, well, like a medium sized pile. All these feel a bit shiny. They're full pages too. These are full pages too. Oh, awesome! Ooh. Again, just yeah, one signature, a book, uh, not a book, a page for a signature already done. Just cut down to size. That is cool. So cool. Oh, some more. Yay! One, two, another three pages as full pages. That is cool. Oh, oh my gosh! That was a genuine oh my gosh, not a sarcastic one. <laughs> I just realised that sounded like oh my gosh. <laughs> no, seriously, I just noticed the copyright date. 1931. Copyright 1931 by the Oxford University Press London. Wow! Printed in Great Britain as well. That's awesome! 1931. Oh my gosh. Like literally, oh my gosh. Is this a full book? I think this has been a full book. It looks to me... Oh yes it has, it's still in page order. No it's not. Some of them are. This to me looks like it's been a full book. Wow. That is awesome. Oh, wicked. And then we have some more. Oh, oh, handle. Seventeen twenty seven is that the date? Coronation anthem. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's been withdrawn. University of London withdrawn. Hmm. I don't think there is a I don't think there's a copyright on this. 
unless that's it. That is cool. Oh, they smell really vintage as well. <laughs> Are they full page? They're... Ah, right, so they're not signature pages as in they've been sawn bound in or whatever. They've been glued in, like glue. Glue pages. Cool. I'm sorry if I keep going out of frame, guys. I'm just... Maybe I should have looked at this off camera first. Another one. Again, like I said, it looks like it's from the same book. Some more. Yeah, definitely from the same book. They're all already paged. Not paged, but numbered. A little lonely one. Oh, so cool. So, so cool. Actually, I think that might belong to them. I'll put it under there anyway. It's the same size. Let's keep them in size order-ish. Wow. Awesome. And then we get to some bigger ones. It was one of these bigger ones, one of these, that I used to do this envelope with. So... Oh, this is for flutes. Oh, clarinet flutes. Wow. I must admit, guys, I don't know a lot about music. I've no idea what any of these notes are. I kind of... Wow. 1685 to 1750. Is that a copyright date, guys? 1637 to 1707. 1685 to 1750. Are they copyright dates, guys? You, you lot will know. Whoa. That is awesome. Yeah, like we're saying, um, I'm not a huge. Yeah, 1827 to 1885. Wow. I'm not a huge kind of. I wouldn't say music lover, I do love music, but I don't know what any of these notes mean. I can play the. Um, Organ. Probably piano as well. Long, long time. But I, not organ, keyboard, sorry. I can play a keyboard, but I can't read music. I have no idea what any of these mean, but if somebody puts like A, B, C, D, or 1, 2, 3, 4, I know what they mean. I can follow numbers and letters, I can't follow the actual notes. Oh, I haven't played keyboard for many, many years. Mine broke. <laughs> Thoudman actually bought me. I've had several from Thoudman. I've had several as a kid and used my mum's as well. Um, and Thoudman's bought me two or three different ones over time. Um, but my last one broke. The middle C button on it broke. It didn't work properly when we got it, but myself and my um, second youngest stepson... Um, Josh, we both played keyboard. We have many, many, many years of fun playing keyboard and making our own music up and what have you. Josh has piano now. Um, but yeah, many, many years of fun and between us we actually broke it in the end. Like I said, it was a bit dodgy to begin with when we got it. It was a second hand one. But between us, <laughs> we actually broke it. So then it just got left plugged in on the sideboard for Taylor to play with. <laughs> I did have a different I did have another keyboard in the cupboard. Um a better quality one. 
but I'm not sure. I still have it. It's actually in the shed. Um, oh, no, it's not in the shed. No, it's not in the shed. It's in the cupboard. It was in the shed. It's in the cupboard. Um, but we have no adapter for it. But, yeah. Oh, wow. These are awesome. Just turn them round. Mm. No, they're the wrong way. I think these are all out of the same book as well. It would appear so. But wow! Apologies for being a little quiet in this video, guys. I'm just a bit overwhelmed. Wow. Awesome. Seriously, guys, bob on over and check her out. Yeah, right. So this appears to be from the same book. This paper though, oh wow guys, this paper it feels amazing. It smells amazing. Oh, just look at it. Just look at it. Actually, this is one of these, not them. This envelope was made out of this because yes it was this envelope was made out of one of these big pieces because I remember using I've used my tear ruler it, yeah I did I did I used my tear ruler to go around go around the edges there and I've gone that way that way and that way all the way around and these bits left over What did I do with the bits left over? I made, I sewn them. I sewed them. I did, three here. Yeah, the bits that are left over. The bits that were left over, should I say. One second, I'll, I'll stop talking now until I can find my words properly. <laughs> There's quite a few. Yeah, the bits that were left over. I did paper ruffles with... Um, I just, I've sawn down a few of them, just as future embellishments, um, so they were just done with a straight stitch, like I said, as future embellishments, and then that was a zigzag stitch, but these are paper ruffles I made focus thank you I made paper ruffles with the leftovers so that and that one was a zigzag stitch that was a straight stitch paper ruffle straight stitch and then I did another paper ruffle with the excuse me with the um, title of the sheet music that I would... Excuse me again, cold coffee, I'm sorry. Um, with the title that come off the top of the page. And I used like a kind of like heartbeat, I don't know what you call it, stitch on my um, sewing machine. Except <laughs> very, very, very um, unplanned that is actually the name of whatever the song was and it just so happened that I used the heartbeat stitch and it was unintentional but that will get covered up because I mean nobody wants to have that in a journal I would imagine the whole thing will probably get covered um, but yeah I used the edges that were left over and made ruffles and bits out of Actually, I'm going to put them in the em in this envelope instead of the other one. Although that this envelope has got paper bits and ruffles and stuff, that's why I put it in there. But I'm going to keep it in this one, and then I know it's in this envelope. This paper ruffle on the bottom of here wasn't used with the sheet music. That was actually a scrap piece of um, brown paper packaging. But yes, yeah, so. I did use this paper, this big 
sheet paper to make that envelope with. How are we doing for time? 25 minutes. Um, yeah, why not? Let's do it. I was just thinking it's German. Oh, there. For the dying. Um, so that must be part of that. A follow on or something. going to do a really sneak a really quick sneaky cheaty a cheaty sneaky envelope I will do a tutorial on this anyway guys but for your eyes only for anybody who's actually watching this you can have a sneak peek this is all I did literally all I did I just used the short end of my tur ruler I say the short end because the um, Tur bits on it are shorter than these, so I just used my ruler to go around the print, like these bits left over. Oh, I'm tearing on the wrong side. Sorry, I should be doing it on that side because that's the busy, what I call the busy side. Never mind, it'll still work. It'll just be a smaller envelope. In fact, I'll tear that bit off to make it a smaller envelope. And these bits will be left to use as paper ruffles like the others or as scrappy embellishment. Actually, that would make an awesome washi tape stick some um, double sided double sided double sided sticky tape on that side and that would make a really cool washi tape or border or something so and then let's do this bit kept it pretty much on the lines or I tried to anyway. I'm not going to sew or anything. I'm just going to quickly show you. So, and it's going to go this way this time. Then you make your mind up. I've done it so the busy side is what you see on the outside. And the not so busy side is on the inside. However, I might just... Do I prefer? I think I'm going to go the non busy side. So the busy side on the inside this time, meaning the busy side is in lots and lots where that's a bit more spread out and a bit quieter. <laughs> Eye candy wise. And because there's a gap there, I'm going to go down that. I'm going to get rid of this little bit. Don't have to. I just like having things a little bit even and a little bit OCD in that way. And I think I'm going to cut that off because there's nothing on the bottom of there. So that is kind of a wasted space on this. I have a envelope punch board but I won't use it. This is basically going to be done by eye and I'm going to do it that way so I've no idea what this is measuring like I said I've just torn round it to where I like it that's going to be on the outside this will be on the inside so you need that on the outside and I am going to that way I am going to then fold this bottom bit up to that line. I'm going to use that line as a guide. 
no measuring involved or anything precise I'm just using that line as a guide and then I always leave around a thumb like I put my thumb there and use a thumb width you can measure you don't have to or you can follow lines that's maybe another way and it's pretty much the same so I will go off that line there as a guide fold the flap down and there we have an envelope or we will when we sew it up um yeah actually it's not straight but you know who cares maybe some people do but I don't not in particular but that's it guys and then if you so desire which yes I did on that one I'm going to just pop the envelope flaps flap corners into my corner rounder I've gone for the bigger size which is the um, 10 millimeter not that it matters in the slightest and there you go and for can we straighten that up with the ruler do you think I think we might struggle a bit. I'm going to leave it. It's not bothering me. It might bother you guys, but it's not bothering me. So I'm going to leave it. And as soon as I, I am here on camera, let's finish it. Oh my gosh. Glue goobers. Oh, good. still got baby wipes on hand from yesterday. So yesterday was the um, first video of my new series. I'm just going to glue down this bottom bit, just down that edge and that edge and pop it up. So like I said, yesterday was the um, first video of my new folio folder series. So, I hope you guys are following along with that. So, I'm just going to fold up that crease very well, them sides there. Obviously, leave it to dry, and then you have an envelope as simple as that. And that's it. Just as simple as that. So a quick little bonus for you on the end of this happy mail. Mail time. There's a sneak peek of what's to come. How to create an envelope from music paper. And build your stash. <laughs> the idea is I'm supposed to be getting rid of my stash. Not adding to it. I'm going to have to set up a new... I'm going to have to find a new... Um, like folder or something for music stash, music, music scraps. That'll be it. Yeah, that's definitely going to happen. I need music scraps. Like they will probably be turned into paper ruffles though. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to set up a a folder for music scraps, scrap pieces of music paper. But like I say, there's your envelope, guys. Then it's entirely up to you. You can stitch around it. I didn't glue this one, I just stitched straight around it. If you want to stitch around it, like to get these bits, do that before you glue it down. Uh, no, you don't need to. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Right, I'm going. <laughs> I will save it for the tutorial because that was a spur of the moment thing. So, But yes, in the meantime, seriously, if you're after a ton of music paper, vintage music paper, then go and check the link out below, especially if you're finding it hard to get a hold of wherever you are, then yeah, I am extremely happy with my stash or my haul and they just create such awesome things 
I mean, just that as it is, plain. Just ink round the edges and just have it as, as have it as it is, plain. It looks awesome. So, or like I say, decorate looks even better. But yeah, it's amazing what you can do with just a tiny little. Well, not a tiny, but with a piece of music paper. So effective. So guys, I shall love you and leave you. Um, again. She can be found on Facebook, I'll, although I ordered this on eBay. I will pop the link to the eBay listing as, below as well. But although I got it from eBay, she can be found on Facebook. So I'll drop the Facebook link below as well. Go and check them out. So yes, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this sneaky little <laughs> mini tutorial. There will be a proper one and showing how to sew and embellish and everything for August coming soon and oh, 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 dropping everything on the floor and yeah freebies as well awesome so thank you for watching guys I hope you found this video well I would say interesting but it's music paper um but yeah so anyway I'm going Drop the links below and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.